Good morning, YouTube. I'm smoking one of my Marishams. It's one of my oldest ones. Can you see how intricate that is? You can tell it's the old one. <laughs> Beautiful coloration on there. I don't think that... For, usually the uh, camera captures everything too dark, but this one's not capturing it as dark as it actually has gotten over the years. It is just a beautiful pipe. I like it because it breathes so well. That beehive uh, carving on there makes the Mearsham itself breathe. And um, for me, because I'm smoking a, a really dark, heavy tobacco in it, it's nice that it breathes and lets it uh, get a little more air and uh, aerates that, that um, tobacco as we're smoking it. I am smoking some. Oh wait, oh, I just dropped some on my lap. Just some black Cavendish. Now you won't hear me do that very often because I usually don't. <laughs> but in this Marisham, I like it because when I'm smoking in this Marisham, it gets enough air that it, it like I say, it kind of uh, thins out the tobacco. I just opened that tin uh, yesterday and I, I like it, but uh, what will happen with most of that is it, it will get put into uh, other tobaccos to either <laughs> get down that little bit of Cavendish or then down this Cavendish because it's just such a strong tobacco for me. I like Cavendish. Who doesn't? <laughs> but not a lot. I'm not a... I tend to, to prefer a milder tobacco, but that's probably because I smoke it all day. And it's a, like I say, it's a strong tobacco for me, and uh, not necessarily in the nicotine, because I can take the nicotine. I just can't necessarily take the strong taste. The taste seems to um, overwhelm my mouth, and so it makes stuff, kind of seems to uh, linger, the flavor lingers into other things that I'm doing, you know, as far as smoking coffee or, or anything like that. It seems like that flavor from that Cavendish kind of lingers in my mouth a little longer than what I like. <laughs> okay, now. This was kind of cute. The question was, what do you think about when you smoke? My dad once told one of my nephews, never ask a woman what she's thinking because she might tell you. <laughs> so I, I was sitting here thinking, you know, as I'm smoking my pipe about what I'm thinking about and then I got to laughing even at myself because of the things that came to mind. One of the first thoughts I have when I light up my pipe is, did I light it? Did I load it right? You know, my first thoughts when I smoke a pipe goes immediately to the pipe. Did I load it right? Is this really the one I wanted? Is this the tobacco I wanted? And if not, I go get another pipe and get another tobacco. So that's usually the first thought that comes. And then that second thought is, you know, did you pack it right? Or are you going to have to go pack it again? Because my dad used to make me repack a pipe if I didn't do it right. So if I don't think it's doing right, I'll pack it again. That sun is just going to be killer today. It's going to be over 100 again. Yeah, comfort index yesterday was 108. Today they're talking about the temperatures being in the 96-ish is the high for today, but the comfort index is about 20 degrees above that because our humidity here in Kansas is... People say, yes, but it's a different kind of heat when they're talking about... Uh, um, heat is heat. But humidity, oh my. Mm. This is just a wonderful pipe for this. So what do I what am I thinking? So we came to the side porch and you guys here's the problem with the side porch. My view is very limited. <laughs> you get to see the house next door. But that's okay. So what am I thinking? If you are afraid of college girls in Angora sweaters, are you an Angora phobia?
if there's a bunch of ducks out on a lake and someone throws a rock at them, do they look at each other and say, people? Rust. I just don't understand rust. How can everything on my back wall be rusty already? I could do something with those flower pots over there. But I don't grow flowers very well, so I, I have a purple thumb. So there's no sense putting plants in them. So what do you do with planters that have no plants in them? I could use them like footstools, turn them upside down. Do you really want to know what we're thinking? <laughs> All right, let's see. What do I really think about? Well, right now I just looked out over that way, over the city, and I thought, what a beautiful fog and, and everything that's kind of laying over the city. And I'd look up at the sky and I think, God, what a beautiful sky. The clouds aren't moving, so it's going to be a steel day today. I wonder if I need to call the washer repairman. It seems my washer might be leaking a little. And then what repairman do you call? From the manufacturer, one local, or uh, from where you got it at? My mind goes a hundred miles a minute. It always does. It never settles down to one thing, and that's why they give me Xanax. Uh, <laughs> I have a, a lot of things that go through your head, and women especially. There's very seldom that I will sit and just ponder one thing. I multitask in my brain, too, just like women multitask all the time. I think uh, we are naturally geared to be thinking two or three things, and one of the things will always be something about the house, it seems like. I'm going on vacation in October, November, last week of October, first week of November, and I'm thinking about ending my trip, because it'll be that weekend, in Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Pipe Show. <laughs> but my husband doesn't want to go. So uh, it'll be me. Just me. <laughs> and you wanna know what we're thinking about. Are you, like say, my dad always told my nephews, never ask a woman what she's thinking. She might tell you. And then you'll really be confused. 